To manage your files in Git, you'll first need to create a repo. Repos are folders on your computer that you've told Git to track file changes in. Every version of your code is contained in the repo, not just the current version you're working with. Git's able to swap between these versions very quickly. Repos are just folders, so you can have as many repos as you need on your computer to manage your files and projects. It's a good idea to keep source code that depends on each other inside the same Git repo. Git provides two ways to create new repos. The first way is to create a repo, or init, from a, an existing folder on your computer. This folder can be empty or it can contain code that you've already written. Repos created this way can't communicate by default with a repo shared by your team or a repo on your ho Git hosting provider. But you can connect this repo later to share your code with others. If your team's already sharing code in an existing Git repo, you can clone that repo to your computer. This will create a repo in a new folder on your computer with your team's code and all the versions created by your team also in the repo. Cloning also sets up your repo with the connection information it needs to share your changes and get changes from others without any additional configuration. To create a repo from the command line, first navigate to the folder where you want to create a repo. This folder can be empty or it can contain existing files. Run the git init command to create the new repo. Once the new repo is created, it won't automatically include files already in the folder. You'll need to create the first commit in your history by running git add and then git commit to create the initial version of your code. If you're creating a repo from an existing repository, you'll first need to get the URL from, for the repo from your git provider or from someone on your team. And you'll also need to get any authentication credentials needed to access the repo. Once you have that, navigate to the command line on your computer to the folder where that should contain your repo and then run git clone u passing the URL to create a copy of the repo on your computer.